Welcome back to another episode, Ghetto Correspondent News Network. I'm your boy, Ant Dammit. Cranky Good. Diamonds on the on the screen. What's up? What's up? What's up, family? Yeah, so let's get right to the shits. Um, before we begin, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and uh, comment, all that fly shit. I still haven't figured that one out yet, but <laughs> how do you know how everybody has that whole saying? I ain't figured that out yet, but we'll get to it. I'm natural, yeah. Like, share, subscribe. Yeah. All right. So before we begin, we got to start on a somber note. Um, R.I.P. to Ahmad Ahmad Arbery, I believe, unarmed black man killed in Georgia while jogging. It's fucked up. That whole situation is like it pisses me off. Um, I don't know about you, but I like really am scared of this outlook or this outcome because it doesn't look like it's going to be too good. It looks like Trayvon Martin. It looks like Emmett Till. I mean, they they had uh, the guy who filmed it was on the news earlier. Today? <clears throat> yeah, and um, his lawyer, they they weren't answering any real questions. His <clears throat> name is William Bryan. What is, you got Corona over there? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, he was like, yeah, my client has a high school education. And they, they basically don't want to answer any questions. So what you have is, I, I believe, one of the killers was a former cop, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's strike Greg one. Greg McMichaels. Yeah, then they're already assassinating the boy's character, bringing up mug shots and little petty crimes he did years ago that have nothing to do with this case. Right. And um, the third strike is just saying that he was uh, fighting back. I'm like, oh, I told somebody on YouTube, one of my wife's subscribers, I said, well, if someone's trying to harm you physically, let alone kill you, you mean to tell me you're not going to fight back? This isn't a police officer here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Not really resisting. So Are I'm you like, you're not supposed to defend yourself? Exactly. So I'm like, with those three right there, that basically lets you know where they're going. The fact that they got charged and locked up. Look, George Zimmerman got charged. Mm-hmm. Sorry. So I just think the outrage is going to be crazy. Because like I say, white people's biggest fear is rebellion. They they wake up. They think one day they're going to wake up and every black person in America is going to say, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> Get out of bed and... Unfortunately, it's going to come to that point. Yeah, some some Civil War and that Turner shit, man. I'm telling you, and that's that's their biggest fear. And it looks like it's going to get there pretty soon because, given the current condition that we're in with this whole Corona shit, and people can't go outside, motherfuckers can't work. There were there was a study that said like most of the people that was laid off make under forty grand a year or something. So it's like forty grand a year and below. So <laughs> those are the people who lost their jobs. And if these people can't pay their bills and can't pay their rent and all of this, like, what do you think is going to happen? They're frustrated, yeah. And and then you have the killing of an unarmed black man. Again, unfortunately, this like happens way too often in, in this country. But it happened back in February. Yeah, that's what That's the me. kicker. 75 days before it went viral. And I'm like, hold up, black, the black entertainment capital or black anything is the capital is Atlanta. I'm like, all of y'all in Atlanta, none of y'all niggas knew about this? Nobody saw it? Yeah, and I'm like, well, they, <laughs> I heard every excuse. They didn't release the footage till two weeks ago. I'm like, I'm talking between officials, activists, all of this shit. Nobody, like, come on, man. Right. I, that's what's get bugging me out. Like they've been buried this dude, unfortunately. And then uh his best friend said it's not about race. Who's best friend? I did a video on that um over the weekend. Amari uh Ahmad Alberry's best friend. Remember when that guy got killed in Dallas and his brother hugged the lady? Oh uh, yeah, um Bokum. Yeah, he was like, This isn't about race, this is about us as a uh, as a nation or something. I'm like, what what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, it's too early in the show for me to slam my headphones, but I damn it, I want to slam my headphones. <laughs> yeah, but you got what do they mean? It's hard to have a revolution or a war or anything when you got Negroes like that on the front lines, unfortunately. So you got to watch out for them type of niggas. Right. Oh, shit. What happened to my goddamn window? Oh, there we go. Sorry. Fucking phone just started ringing. Motherfuckers trying to, trying to call me during the show. Um, but continue, sorry. No, nah, no, nah, I was just saying, like, you got too many uh, butter biscuit shoe shining niggas out here. And right. I hold us back, but yeah, we got a lot of issues, man. Now, you got Sean Reed died, like I say, and uh, they brought up black on black crime. Like I say, that's a narrative I can't fucking stand. 
what the fuck does that got to do with right. like, cops killing black people? You know? Like, and don't like me. Chicago and, and all these other homicides. Like, it's millions of regular niggas like us who don't do any of that. But I right. feel like we get the blame from the older folks, the boomers and shit. Black on black crime. And y'all got to stop killing each other. Like, who the fuck is y'all? Like, exactly. Every, every race group has their gangsters, their hoodlums, their thugs. But for some reason with us, they like to blame we- us. You know, our street people do. Right, because it's easy to point the finger at a group, the oppressed group mm. at this point, because we're going to get riled up anyway, because we're tired. Like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you always blaming shit on us. And blaming yourself, that's a tactic of, like, slave post-dramatic syndrome or whatever. Yeah, that's that's some mm. shit programs you to blame yourself. You know, oh, take care of it. It's in God's hand and all of that. You always reflecting all of the bullshit that they put on us and trying to blame it on ourselves or either just saying, let God take care of it. That mentality is still brewing. Going over that last show. All right, we always going to keep putting it in God's hands, huh? <laughs> like, that's what we doing? Like, uh, just pray about it, baby. <laughs> nah, yeah. This, this, Unfortunately, this whole situation happens way too often. The kid was uh, a high school football star right like he was out jogging because that's part of the lifestyle like he he does this and and basically what they're saying is stay in your neighborhood like if you want to stay if you would have stayed in your neighborhood this probably wouldn't have happened to you oh shit so he was under they basically saying he was in the wrong he was in a white neighborhood the wrong yeah place. yeah because wow. that's why that's why the the father and the son they basically chased him down like did, he, did like and that's what i don't understand like it, if they try to use that whole stand your ground law, like the kid was jogging. Mm-hmm. Like you didn't catch him with any equipment, no burglary equipment as they claim. You didn't catch him with any personal property. So where do you get the right to, if you, even if you think you're doing a citizen's arrest, where do you get that right? There was no evidence. Like how the fuck do you get off? Where do you get off? Excuse mm-hmm. me. Where do you get off? And you're not a cop. You used to be. Exactly. And why? And, and has anybody looked up why he isn't a cop anymore? Nah, I haven't. You know, and you and his and his buddy just happened to be filming it. So right, and they and they ain't arrest him talking about some. Oh, uh, he ain't had nothing to do with it. But motherfucker, you didn't stop it. No, nah, like, at all. That did <laughs> and recorded it and held on to the footage for two months. They're not even letting him talk right now. His attorney doing all the talking. His attorney basically called him stupid on national television. Wow. My client has a high school education, and that doesn't mean much. Whatever they ask. What the hell does a high school education have to do with this? Like, <laughs> like if I if I witnessed a murder and yeah. I videotaped it, but I didn't stop it, I'm yeah. going to jail. Yeah, but that's that good old boys network they got. That's that good old yep. boys. They look out for each other like that. They know yeah. what it is. Yeah. That's 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 a shame, man. Un- unfortunately, you know, this happens way too often. Um, R.I.P. to Ahmad Arbery. Um, I don't I don't really know what to say um as far as to the family, but damn man. Yeah. I gotta say I'm I'm really tired of these stories. I just seen a video of some other dude um, on Instagram being posted, being held down by the cops, getting gonna banging him in his head. Um, you had Sean Reed last week in Indianapolis. And that was a black cop that that did that to him, right? I'm not even sure. As so I say, I don't even keep up with the details. I'm, just, I'm at this point where I'm just so exhausted and burned out from it. You know, I'm just tired of seeing the shit, you know? That's why I was mm-hmm. did that Eric about doing Jill Scott Saturday, man. You, you tuned into that? Oh, hell yeah, yeah, I definitely. How was that? I didn't, I didn't get it. What the fuck was I doing Saturday? Marvelous, man. I was doing something I probably had no business doing. (laughs) (laughs) Rub your, you know, get you some cocoa butter, burn some sage, you know, sit Indian style and shit like that. Yeah, I caught, I caught on to it too late. I think, I don't even remember, but I know I wanted to see it, man. That that shit right there had to be like. That shit was like a free concert, yeah. Yeah, that had to, and you know what? That that's probably the one thing that's keeping a lot of our people um sane right now is these versus battles because sure. we we get to relive a lot of our uh moments because you know music is tied to a lot of historical things in our life. Like, you know what I'm saying? You hear a song, it brings you back to 
you know, something that something happened to you and it was like a great time or, you know, maybe it was a trigger, but either way it's tied to something and it takes your mind off of the fact that we're stuck in a fucking house right now. And, uh, you know, bills are piling up. Motherfuckers don't have jobs. Like all of these things are happening and we have our artists, uh, the people that we look up to, to relive these moments. What was, what was your great, um, Greatest moment from that? What, what like takeaway? Uh, with, with that battle, um, yeah, man, it was just, it was so much music. I, like Jill vocals, like just blew everything out of the water. Like people was like, oh, "How's Jill gonna compete with Erica?" I'm like, "Well, Jill laid those vocals now." It was like that's how. You yeah, know, no with it. I mean, Jill is like an opera singer, but it was so many hits they had, man. Back in, it really was no standout. I know you could look at some of this shit like it's a distraction, but I enjoy it. Um, but certain people I'm just not worthy about. Like Nelly and Ludacris is next week. That's that's the next one. So here's my thing about the um, the versus battle. Now, because everybody's like, oh, this person's going to win, that's going to win. But what are the – are there any official rules to yeah, like – There's no winner, you know what I mean? There's really yeah. no referee. There's no moderator. There's no uh, – keep. no one's keeping scores. That's just what they call it, you know what I mean? It right. was like that but it's not organized you know how we do mm-hmm. and uh, them two sisters they was just vibing with each other they wasn't even competing they were singing each other's songs and you know bigging each other up so but i definitely don't want to see trick daddy and trina because they said they wanted to <laughs> and i'm like half the songs is together nigga. i don't want to see that one either um <laughs> Nelly and Ludacris would be good because they're they're definitely on the same page like i like the 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 picks, you know, they're picking people on somewhat of a same level to where as though it's like, all right, that's a good, you know, they song for song. Early 2000s era. Right. And um, shout out to Low Key from uh, You Heard That New, part of the uh, Duce Palooza crew. He had a playlist because, you know, uh, DMX said that he would battle Jay-Z and everybody was like, oh, it's never going to happen, which it probably won't. But he has a playlist on um, iTunes and it's called The Cheat Sheet. And um, I'll I'll post a link, you know, uh, in the description of this. But it's DMX and Jay-Z, and he's got all of these songs. And I was sitting there the other day, and I'm like, yo, it's kind of unfair, right? Because even though Jay's the bigger artist, DMX might have had some better records. Like, yeah. if you... you- late 90s, DMX was, was, a, was, was hotter than Jay-Z. I think if you was to do that battle, I would have to... It would have to, to be fair, it would have to be, okay, let's pick records from 97 to 03 because Jay lasted so much longer, even though I'm not right. a fan of a lot of Jay's newest shit, but you can't compete when you play those records with Beyonce and shit. But from 90s yeah. to like 03, that, that, that's, that's, but that's what I'm saying. If, so the, re- the records with Beyonce, right? And I, I want to get back to my other point in a second. The records with Beyonce, like how does that even match up? Like who? Are yeah. we going to say because it did numbers on the charts that it's a bigger record? Like, or is it because the impact that it had on people? Yeah. Because I can tell you, there's no Jay-Z Beyonce record better than that joint X did with Faith. Uh, how's it going down? Oh, yeah, that oh, shit. Yeah. Nothing's fucking with that. I don't See, care. <laughs> DMX, DMX, like, because people, like, tend to, like, try to play DMX out because of his, yeah, his <laughs> drug addiction. <laughs> you know, like you could say it is nigga over there doing silence. The nigga smoke crack. <laughs> yeah. I think the other thing is between the crack shit and just it's, I, it's a whole nother generation of kids who just don't know who the fuck he is. They might right. see Belly and they think he's just Tommy Buns or the, they don't know right how, mega star. Like at one point he was a bigger star than Jay Z. They don't yep. know that. Yeah. They're not, they not from that era. And DMX had the locks with him. Like there was so many records where it's like DMX, the locks, and then you know you got Jay Z, and Jay Z had Beanie Siegel, and yeah. then you know maybe Bleak sometimes, but there was <laughs> yeah. no real competition. Like even with like some of the dudes from State Property, like DMX and the locks alone, mm-hmm. I was like, yo, I, I'm sitting there like, dude, this is kind of unfair. Like, what you gonna money, power, respect? Come on. Oh my God, 24 hours to live. Oh like, god, you know niggas are started something. Exactly, like, like that would be a dope. Like I say, but I would have it would to be fair. It's got to be in that year range between right the golden era range. It can't because like I say, Jaden lasted 
20 fucking years. You, I don't want to hear Jay play anything after two, 2003, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh, that's unfortunate that we won't get that battle because I gotta do that. Just damn, like that would be amazing. It's like Pharrell. Some some people. That's why I say y'all gotta stop throwing around this for the culture because Pharrell turned it down. Kanye, Dr. Dre, uh, Jay, like some some dudes. They going They not doing it if they not getting paid. Right. They not getting paid, and, and they you know some big fucking numbers. And that and and that right. should let people know though that. It's money to be made doing this shit. That and your fave ain't really yeah, about that culture shit them. like they talk. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because, like I said, in this trying times, like, people don't have anything. What, what is it going to take for Jay-Z two hours out of his day to fucking yeah. sit down yeah. what the fuck else are you doing? behind Instagram <laughs> Live and fucking play some records? Like, for real, grab you some cognac and your favorite cigar and sit there and chill. Like, but these motherfuckers, they're too big. Yeah, he's too big for his own good. Like I say, Jay's not even on Instagram, so right. <laughs> he uses his wife account. But yeah, they they do. It's like I used to always say, well, why certain artists to me act like they're bigger than the culture? Like, have you ever seen Drake or Lil Wayne on The Breakfast Club? No. Okay, back in the day, I vividly remember Tupac and Biggie going on Rap City, right? Going, like, uh, hit um, uh, what was it? Yo MTV Raps. Like, yeah. no bigger than the culture platforms. These certain artists now, they they big for certain shit like they hollywood you know you don't drake win all the awards you don't go to none of these black award shows right <laughs> too good for these niggas the way it is my yeah that and that that's a damn shame but while we're talking about music let's um throw out a few r.i.p's r.i.p to andre harrell um yeah. he started uptown records um if you if you don't know who he is you should probably look him up because he's responsible for some of your favorite artists ever um Thanks these babies these 90s babies right um he like if it wasn't for andre harrell we wouldn't have diddy puff daddy sean combs whatever like the the mogul that we know today he wouldn't be here if it wasn't for andre harrell so rp to that man um passed away at the age of 59 that's and sad. yeah man as i get up there in age i'm like damn that's still young like you still got a whole lot to, a life to live at 59 um R.I.P. to Little Richard, fucking the king of rock and roll, the original king of sass. Like, <laughs> that guy was a badass, man. Yeah, yeah. And um, I said this on my other show. I was like, when, because as I'm doing the research, I'm looking at the pictures, like, that was a beautiful man. That motherfucker looked like a doll. Like, all his life, every picture, he looked like a damn doll. I was like, look at this motherfucker. Yeah, in, in the 40s, in the 50s. Yes. Like, and he was like openly gay in the time where it was like damn near you'd be killed for being openly yeah, gay. Like, I respect gay OGs like that though. Yeah, they gay OGs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the show. <laughs> they wasn't doing it for the clout. It wasn't no yeah, no. No alphabet community. There was right. no and the, they was just out there saying fuck it. And you know, niggas used to get beat up for that shit. Niggas used yeah. to get stabbed all that. Like, I, I respect the gay OGs like like Rick Little Richard and them, man. Yeah, yeah, because they they actually made it possible for the this one today, right? The right. alphabet community and the Rainbow yeah. Coalition. Benefits of it, so. Mm hmm. But yeah, um, R.I.P. to him. R.I.P. to Betty Wright. Um, yeah. another singer. Like I didn't know her by name, but I know a lot of her music. Um, just by sound. Oh, did you know Lil Richard was eighty seven? Yeah, 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 I see. Yeah, that nigga lived a long yeah, time. Yeah, that's why I say it wasn't too sad because he, and he a died long. of uh, bone cancer. That probably had to be painful, man. I heard of that? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> Betty, Betty Wright, sixty six. Um, the, so here's the thing, right? When when I when I saw that, um, I thought Twitter was trolling because you know usually Twitter is talking about uh Betty White. That's what I thought at first. I was like, oh shit, Betty White. Right, but I saw it because you, you see Betty Wright, but in your mind, it looks like Betty. Betty White for some reason. Like, I'm not dyslexic, but anybody would have saw that on the timeline. Like, I saw it would have been like, what the fuck? Yeah. Right, but it said Betty Wright, and then it was a black woman. I was like, hold up, is Twitter trolling again? Because I'm like, why would they put Betty White and then a black woman right here? And I was All just right. like, it didn't make sense to me. But then when the news came out, and like, because you can't read everything, you can't believe everything you read on Twitter. I know I don't. They 
they kill Joe Rogan like every three months on Twitter. <laughs> Remember when they killed Master P back in 2009? Uh, nah, but they, they, they killed Steve Urkel. They, they killed so many people. I, Yo, I, everybody, man. It's like you just can't. But um, RIP to those musical legends, man. Um, I, I am looking forward to some of these versus battles. The only one I really watched was um, who the fuck did I watch? Baby face and uh, Teddy Riley, the second one, because the meme from the first one had me fucking rolling. I was like, right, I gotta see these two old men try to operate technology. Yeah, I've seen all of them so far. They're supposed to do Bone Thugs and Three Six Mafia like a week ago, but once Erica and Jill got announced, they, they kind of scrapped that to the side. Like yeah, that. yeah. I, I don't think that was official versus though. I think that was something that they wanted to do and they were like... Nobody really cared, I guess. No, I think they're actually going to get verses in on it and they're going to set it up. I don't know how it works or whatever, but... Yeah, Swiss Beast is like Vince McMahon. He's in charge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> him, and, him and Timbaland. Yeah, you know, they're getting paid. <clears throat> yeah. Um. All right, so let's move into uh sports. I'm not really much of a sports guy. I know a lot of people like laugh at me because they're like, "Yo, how are you a man? You don't like sports, nigga? I'm a nerd. What the fuck? Like, I sit behind a computer. I enjoy this shit. Like, that's that's why. But I love a good fucking story. So Earl Thomas, he's a football player for the Baltimore Ravens. He's still with the Ravens, right? Safety. Yes. Okay. Uh, this nigga's only thirty too. Yeah, I think he just, he, it was his birthday, ironically, when all this happened. He's just 31, 32. Yeah. Happy born day, nigga. So, uh, <laughs> so Earl Thomas' wife held a gun to his head in the middle of an orgy. She wasn't in the orgy. What the fuck? It was him and his brother. And yes. Of, Yo, the story, the story is twisted. Hold up, you in your 30s, y'all still doing trains and shit? They call it an orgy, but let's be honest, what we call yeah. it. Train. Yeah, it's a train. Like y'all jumping off a chick. Like what? Or a couple chicks? I don't know. Yo, the shit is the shit is nasty, especially with this whole Corona going around. Like, yeah, nigga, that's you, the thing about that. Yeah, y'all have you, a war in the pandemic. Yeah, in the middle of Corona. <laughs> Niggas don't care, man. Like I say, if you think if he's doing this and he's considered a a responsible, settled dude, he <laughs> responsible, my ass. <laughs> like he has no like you know he's no threat at all. Great player, never been arrested. I mean, he's one of those model citizen players. If he's doing shit like that, what, what do you think the rest of these wild niggas is doing? He just got caught because uh, Snapchat got him caught. Yep, and, and that's the thing. Um, so she the location, and that's how she blew his ass up. Oh my god! So he got into an argument with his wife. Her name is Nina Earl Thompson and Nina Thompson. He, they got into an argument about his drinking. Okay. After that, his brother Seth came to pick him up. And they left. What's the problem with drinking during quarantine? <laughs> train. He don't even know if he can have a football season to play. That's for. what I'm saying. Like the man, like yo, the woman, like low key, she kind of pushed him to this. If you ask me, birthday, let him get drunk. Right, but so they they got into it. He left the house with his brother. She logged into his Snapchat and saw a video of him and some chick. And that's when I had to pause and be like, yo, why do these young niggas want to put everything on fucking Snapchat? Get it. Like, what is with y'all and wanting to put everything on Snapchat? You can't like, even call a young nigga, though. I mean, a nigga 31, 32. Yeah, but still, <laughs> come on, man. Like, you know better. I'm 29. I know better than that. You don't that's, need fucking No, crazy. but apparently, apparently these motherfuckers is doing this shit. And I'm like, yo, what? Like, first of all, Nigga, haven't we learned from all of these other rappers and street motherfuckers who do dirt and then they put it on Zoom or not Zoom? We're on Zoom. Sorry, sorry about that. They put it on social media and then they end up getting caught. Nigga, yeah. why? You're 30, you're married with kids. Why are you putting your sex capades on Snapchat? Like nobody's going to be thirsty mm -hmm. out there to freaking throw you under the bus. Yeah, he signed a $55 million contract a year ago. Oh yeah, she's trying to protect her investment for sure. So she pulled up to the to the orgy. They were at an Airbnb, you know. She tracked his Snapchat location, you know, once again telling on himself. And so she pulled up with two friends and his pistol. And she had the gun to his head. Now she said she took the clip out so she didn't think that um the gun was uh loaded, but it had one in the head. And when you hear that story, you're like, yo, she killed this nigga? No, she didn't kill him. Yeah. But 
the safety was disengaged. When they yeah, and she had a finger on the trigger, and one of the thoughts in there was videotaping this shit too. Like, I when they say, huh? You, yeah, I want to see that one too. When they say the revolution will not be televised, they motherfucking lied. <laughs> because the revolution true. is going to be fucking IG live, Facebook oh, yeah. live. <laughs> it's going down. We're going to see that footage. They do. Look, we'll go back to dude got killed on face on Facebook Live. Yeah. By the cops. So I mean, yeah, the revolution will be it's gonna be televised. It's gonna be seen, yeah. It's 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 insane. After all of this shit, his wife bought him a big fucking chain. Yeah. But and that that made me think like if you're gonna go through all of that, just let the man cheat in peace. Yeah, just to reward him, you might as well. You two days right. after. And I'm not saying that he should do that because, you know, and as a black man, I've heard women say, you cheat on me, I'm going to kill you, cut your dick off, whatever. She was obviously about that life. Like, she was about to pull up on, she pulled up with the pistol. Yeah. And she had her two girls with her talking about some, watch these hoes. I got some for all you hoes and all this other <laughs> shit. I don't know if I could be with a woman after she put a gun out on me, man. That's just me personally. You kind of don't got a choice at that point. Yeah, like. She's married. They've been high school sweethearts. They got kids. They're too much money. It's going to cause a lot to get divorced. But, it's, you know, he's invested. But if this is my girl, you put a gun on me when yeah. you're disengaged? I, I can't fuck with you. I don't yeah. trust you. Yeah, I, I don't need the... When uh, Karen pulled out the gun on Henry and Goodfellas. Yeah. <laughs> Trust you after that. Yeah, now nah, you can't. But um, like I said, let the man cheat in peace at this point. All right. Mm -hmm. So um, last week we had um, Riley Rittens do. Uh, we we brought him on. We let him do his show. Uh, that motherfucker done went viral, exactly. and um, you know, and uh, now he is here. Uh, and he's going to do a live reading. I don't know what he got lined up for us this week, but hopefully he's got something good. Like he and he went viral too. And unfortunately, a lot of people didn't give him his props. Well, I only seen him on X platform and academics bitch ass didn't add his name or nothing. And I said, You see this fucking punk? Yeah, exactly. Like get views, not even give him not even tag him, nothing. All right, so uh Congratulations on going viral. Salute that. Um, yeah. That was unexpected. Like, that wasn't really, that wasn't really the plot of it. That's the crazy shit. When I made this, this it wasn't like, yo, I'm going to go viral. I'm going to get some clout. Like, that was, like, you know me well enough to know, like, every, anything I do is just off the strength of myself. So. It's off the I cuff. Yeah, so when I did the OnlyFans reviews, like that was a seed that was already planted. Shut up, copacetic, copacetic. That was a seed that was already planted. It was just like on a whim, like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me do it. So I uploaded TikTok. I figured out the green screen, and the rest was history from there. Nice. Well, congratulations. I think you're doing an amazing job for um, everybody that's quarantined at home that ain't got shit else to do. <laughs> putting that stimulus check to use Shit. <laughs> it's it, extensive research extensive research <laughs> All right, I respect it who got Eric? you subscribe to that uh, who Eric Amanda nah not yet like she hasn't put she, she hasn't put enough content for me to subscribe to like she's only a week in like <laughs> That shit, 25 bucks. $25? You got like three pictures maybe on that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, she's still getting her feet wet. So what's the what's the best? What's the best? Like, should it be pictures or videos? A combination of both, if you know how to do it. Really? Yeah. So what, what do you got? What do you got for the people this week? Who should who should the fellas be looking for? Um, honestly, I'm still taking. I'm still taking names. Like I'm already subscribed to a few more, but so far it's like uh You so invested in this I'm, shit. 
Yeah, so I'm still like waiting through some different options so that way I can see what's what because I don't want to I don't want to do a full review of just bad shit. I need to balance it out. Like right. great, okay, bad. So what's the what's the what's what's the best for this week? Who's the greatest that you saw so far? Um Summer June. Summer June, Maya G, Jada Fire. Marie Love, um, yeah, that was it so far. And the and the suck part is, I shot, I gave Summer June like glowing reviews, but out of loyalty to old girl, she wound up blocking me behind it. So I'm like, damn. Who 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 who's a girl? Chella. Chella's way. Oh, oh, yeah. That, that then you you wrote a song about her, didn't you? Did I? Um, yes and no. Yes and no. Like I have a fir- I had a first draft. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. That Lucy. Yeah. Thank God I took it down because it was trash. Damn. <laughs> Damn. All right, so you got blocked by somebody. Anybody give you like a free subscription yet? Oh yeah, the white girl, the white girl. Who? Karma Megs, the one I said that takes that that takes Dick to the Joe Button podcast. That's a true story too. She takes what to the Joe Button podcast? She takes black dick while playing the Joe Button oh, podcast oh. in the background. Oh wow. wow. <laughs> Hey, you gotta add these girls. You gonna put the at names? Yeah, word. Yeah. I put the names when I do them. I put the names when I do. But them. what about the at name? Like the the. the... <laughs> oh, you talking about the Twitter and all that? Oh, I see what y'all saying. Now yeah, I should start. Do- I should start doing that. You're right. You're right. Damn. I ain't even, I ain't even think of that. I figure I put the name, and y'all go to their OnlyFans from there. I ain't even think about the Instagram and Twitter name. So. Yeah. Man, I like my money too much. I ain't paying them hoes. Or sex work, excuse me. I ain't paying them. All right. I mean to, I mean to each his I mean to each his own. I'm not knocking it. And that's one of the and that's one of the few setbacks that I've been getting from people. Uh you a sim. Why are you paying for something that's free? Uh you need to be putting that money to your teeth. Uh you need to be putting that money to your hair, to a haircut. I'm like, damn. People be talking shit. Yo, how you, I, I'm, uh, and I ain't trying to be negative, but what the fuck? I was really pissed when I see academics posted that shit. This nigga ain't tagging you. Yeah, I didn't even know that until people started tagging me in his comments. I'm like, oh shit. You know what I mean? That might have been one of the hottest shits he had all week in this nigga ain't. He, he tagged 6 9 and the rest of these dick riders. I mean, I don't have rainbow hair and tatted and doing all types of extra extracurricular activities, so there's that. But what I'm you're just, doing is extracurricular. What do you mean? I mean, not as extracurricular as that nigga. Damn. I'm, I mean, I'm only telling you what's worth subscribing to or not. Anything else outside of that is extracurricular to me, but to each his own, I guess. Right. Well, I appreciate what you're doing. Hopefully next week um, you can have, I want you to do a review like live on the show. Oh, nah, you know what? I Like I said, I'm waiting through some names because I don't want to just give you the bad. Like, nah, bad. I don't want that. I want you to come with like a full straight up review, like whatever you're going to do, the, the way you do it. Like, I don't want to tell oh, you how to, who to oh, look up or any of that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, nah. In that case, like, I got like five names off top of that I could th- that I have in mind. Then. All right, well, we'll 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 do that next week because we're running out of time. But um, I want to thank you though for um that content. It was it was it's very entertaining. I look forward to uh watching it, and I'm happy that you're uh getting some traction. Hopefully, you're you're making good use out of this uh viral sensation stuff getting some uh, traction to your music yeah i'm figuring out the next steps on that as well you know and not just be known as the only fans guy because i'm a person i'm still a person before during and after this so i want people to know that person and still you know enjoy the stuff that i'm putting out and i'm still doing the only fans review too so 
keep an eye on that. I I out on that. All right. Well, we appreciate you, Riley. And um, unfortunately, you know how the internet goes. You are going to be the OnlyFans guy from now on. So uh, on this show, you're going to be our OnlyFans correspondent, okay? <laughs> copy, copy, copy. All right. I'll be in touch, Riley. Thank you. All right, bet. All right. Peace out. Yeah. All right. So that's our show for this week. Um, appreciate you, homie. Hopefully, uh, we can get back to our regularly scheduled program. And um and we can make it happen again. I had a couple other topics, but we can get to that later on. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. It's been episode two. Shout out to the gay OGs, and we'll be back next week. <laughs> Stay hood. Peace.